capture. Uh, you have a, a tablet PC right here that you can simply just turn and fold down and use this as your writing tool right here because it's touch touch screen um, and then you can go ahead and use an HD uh, camera this one particular one is the Logitech it uh, is the orbit and it will follow you around the room or it will uh, just stay in one place depending on what you want it to do uh, you can use these two pieces of equipment is basically what you need for your lecture capture. You can use your desk to capture the video uh, and, or you could use a podium to capture the video and record the device. We're going to use a Dell uh, tablet PC and the HD uh, Logitech. And we're going to put it on a podium, uh, show you what the podium is. That way you can roll it around from office to office. Makes it uh, a portable lecture capture device rather than a permanent position one. Okay? Okay, here we are. We have two podiums. Here's one type of podium here. We have our tablet PC here. We have our HD camera. This extra monitor is to see how you look. So you can pipe it out from the tablet to see what you look like, what the students would see. Then we also have this podium here. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit sleeker. Might be a little bit better in your classroom. If you, uh, if you don't have the room for something like this, you can use something like this. This too is a tablet. Uh, works just the same way. Um, and you can put your HD camera. We have a document camera on here, the Avermedia document camera. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this one because this one can go from classroom to classroom. If you were doing it in your office, I would recommend a much smaller one or put it on your desk. Okay, as you can see here, I have the tablet PC turned on. I have the pen so I can use the touch screen. I have the HD camera here. And I have back here, this is the monitor so I can see what's going on, what the students would see as I'm on the tablet PC with the camera. This is exactly what will be recorded so I can upload it to the network so students can review it later when they have the time. Okay? Okay, now what I've done is I've activated the camera here and the camera does follow my movements. If I move over here, the camera will follow me as much as I move. Okay? So it does adjust to where I'm at. Okay? Next, we'll go ahead and we'll activate the software. Okay, now we're activating OneNote software by Microsoft, so we can see what we can do with it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new page because I've already uh, used this one. And it's wiped clean. Okay, so this is Microsoft OneNote. We have the camera following me, and we're ready to get started with the next step, which is enabling Camtasia. Uh, two squared equals, and you could, uh, you know, have them work that out. Uh, you could also pull up Microsoft Word. Here's what we just did, to, and it's recording and, it right uh, now. It would also uh, work with it as well. So we can click here. Do all our navigation through with the pen. Um, let's go ahead and we will pull up. And what the students Microsoft will see Word is right back office. here. This is exactly let's what the students see. would see. So we can go ahead and do Microsoft Word. And let's find Word um, right here at the bottom of it.